Um, yeah, I guess let's, let's show a human fish here, which is the fractured fossil. Just kind of the, the easiest fossil, I think, in Delve because of uh, the fact that we're Chaos Inoculation and 99% of the damage there is, uh, is Chaos Damage. We just have to pass through a camp. If you ever see like a node that's called Camp, uh, like the one that I'm passing to now, that's an auto-completion node. So the only thing you should be doing is just rushing the node like that and it's auto-completion, right? And then you can move on from there to the Human Fissure. It's okay like dying at the end, there's gonna be some loot or whatever, but Generally, when you're deep delving, you're never going for like the actual loot from the nodes. You're just going for like Azrite or big fossils. Um, well, do you have to skill your sets master? Yeah, like all is really easy at this point for me at least, depending on the mods. But uh, so if you're human fisher again, I will like uh, I'll try my best to um, to clear the node a little bit. You'll see like the way I'm running around, right? Like I'm walking towards monsters, but then I'm running away from them because they will they will always target projectiles where you were standing. So you never want to be standing still. Then once you like clear the node a little bit, I generally throw a flare in and I tuck myself in like that with whatever movement ability I'm using. Uh, at some point, I guess you can spawn your skellies as well. It doesn't really hurt. But here's when you want to start walling. And uh, unfortunately, I have no flares. So I think this might be a death. Uh, yeah, I had no, um, I had no flasks there, so I couldn't burst down the, I couldn't burst it down. So let's do that again. You will have that, like, you will have deaths in Delve because of, like, bad flask management or things like that. And that's just, that's just a part of Delving, right? Like, you shouldn't get upset or anything like that about making mistakes. You'll just learn, or you'll try your best to, like, do better the second time through or whatever. So let's bait him towards here and then we'll uh, wall ourselves off as he's making that proj. Okay, now I can uh, start the node. Make sure you're flaring yourself, otherwise you're gonna die because there's a little patch of darkness here. Sure, you can use Spell Cascade on your Frost Wall as well to make it easier. But I have like, I never have enough mana, right? And here I'm getting name locked. Uh, so you just want to try to burst that statue down and then spam click the fossil. So what you're trying to do on this node is uh, you want to throw your mines a little bit further out so they also target like the golems that are here and there. Because the golems do directional proj but they also do this like little crystal that spawns under you and like and pops you right. So you just want to like set yourself up here. Throw your mines a little bit out. Beware because like you'll get name locked to the statue very often. So you want to like move your mouse out and then make sure that you're actually shooting over here, right? And then uh, burst down the statue and then just spam click the fossil. It will be pretty common that like, that you die trying to get the fossil, right? Dying trying to get the fossil is like really common. And in that case, you just get one of your friends or someone that has like a fast moving character to like just come in and pick up the fossil for you. It's not a problem. There's a lot of people that do like fossil retrieval services and things like that, so. Don't worry about it. It's just a way of delve. Yeah, that's how you do a human fisher. Uh, 